Hey everybody, welcome back to Play Casket with your host, Paraka the Goblin, and Ghost your co-host. And this week we're going to talk about the N card, or the Club Nintendo card. <laughs> Basically, just Club Nintendo. Um, basically, and we're, we're not talking about like my Nintendo that the way it is right now. I, I'm pretty sure most people are pretty unanimous. Um, selling JPEGs for weird internet points is not a way to go. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and talk about a lot of the old stuff that was really cool back in the day when they used to do a lot of the Wii era and the Wii in the uh, Wii U era and stuff. Some of the Wii 3DS U era. Too? Uh, and 3DS was part of that too. Um, not much, but they were there. Yeah. Um, and we just want to talk about some of the uh, rewards and stuff. So basically, Club Nintendo back in the day did a lot of uh, like physical, solid rewards for people. So basically, you make a account online, you get codes inside each physical game that you buy, and then you got to you have to. Fill out the survey, and the survey is always the same. So yeah, it was always it was always the same. It was basically where did you get this, how it was, and all this. What's your age? So there, how much you make? They're they're all they're all just basically the same. It was based on the same point system, so game system. Um, and sometimes on the later end, you they were giving you guys like discounts and stuff on new games, mm -hmm. but. They eventually faded it away and got replaced with this My Nintendo one, which has been a slog fest. You would randomly get some rare item, but people would just dominate it because some people play way too many Fire Emblem heroes um, and get a lot of these platinum points, which stick around for your club Nintendo, which can be used for a variety of small things. But sometimes on a rare, rare, rare occasion, they come out with something decent. Club Nintendo, on the other hand, was very physical-oriented. Yeah. Various things. Keychains, lanyards, all that. Um, I would go ahead and let you go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that you actually loved more in Club Nintendo than what we see now. I mean, they got all the cool, uh, all the cool stuff that I wanted... Was ever there? Unfortunately, there there, um, there was stuff. Yeah. We'll 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 touch on that too. There was there was some regional variants and regional exclusive stuff too. Okay, but I guess the only thing I really got was those uh, wrist straps. I, I could have gotten the uh, what was it the the vertical charging dock for the 3ds. Thankfully, they released or I think we got the vertical charging docks, but we never got the uh, flat charging docks for the 3ds XLs. Mm -hmm. So. We got the ones for the original 3DS. I got I got one of those as well. Yeah. So, but, I don't know. Those were just so much cooler. Well, what what, what was some of the things you liked that were here that you just didn't bother getting? I'm trying to think. Because there was actually quite a few things here that were actually pretty cool. I just remember the only thing I really got was the, the wrist straps. Because I like, you know, put, either put it on my uh, Wiimotes or hang, hang them on my uh, 3DS. But other than that, though, I can't really think of anything else I really grabbed, though. I mean, I think there were discounts, too. There was. Yeah. There was not, not very much, but there, there definitely was. Um, <laughs> I, was very, I was a very sneaky goblin when I, was, when I was a younger age. So at one point in time, there was a lot of the empty cases in GameStop that would still have all the inlets because they wanted their most important thing was to remove the game out of them. Well, when I would shop, I would actually take pictures of each one of those codes and go back home and punch them all in. Oh, damn. So I actually got way more <laughs> than most of the people I knew. And I did get a lot I did get a lot of cool treasures from that. Uh one of my one of my main treasures are actually one of the old recreations of the Game and Watch ball. Mm -hmm. Like it goes right along the side of the Game and Watch Mario that I got. And it will go right next to the Zelda one when I finally get that too. But it was one of those like kind of piece of history ones. And it's actually sitting right next to my Hana pack of Hanafuda cards. That yeah. they had a very limited set of because nobody really wanted the cards because it's cards, blah, blah, blah. I got the them. coolest thing. I got them because they, they look pretty dope. Yeah. Right? And so I do have I do have a couple of those. The Hanafuda cards, what was really shocking that like not as many people wanted that until like later on in life where a lot of people are like dude i regret not getting it yeah and i'm like one of the people like i got it well, i remember the uh the golden nunchucks though 
Mm-hmm. Um, I did not get the golden nunchuck, but I did get the uh, golden uh, pro controller yeah. variant, and I did get the golden uh, Wii remote because I was using up the last bit of my points. Oh, okay, but outside that, I did. I was one of the few selected to get the Luigi's Mansion figurine set. Yeah. Very few got them. I think they were actually numbered. I I would have to look at the box and stuff and see again. But only a certain amount of people were chosen to be able to get that item. Like, you could buy that item with the points. Mm-hmm. And if you don't get it, it just rolls on to the next person. And until somebody, they all bought them all out. So okay. I was able to get one. Uh, I don't know anybody else who did get one, though. Damn. But it was one of those ones that was, like, very rare. I've actually gotten... A couple, couple pretty lucrative offers for it. Yeah, and it's it's one of my big prized possessions. That <laughs> one in the game and watch has been pretty cool. Oh, okay, so that's that. But I did get um since I I'm the one with the treasure trove here. I also <laughs> got the the they they sold games too, mm-hmm. right? They they did a lot more in in Japan than they did anywhere else for full fledged print physical games. Yeah, right. I did get the Game & Watch Collection number one. They did make mm-hmm. two. Number one on the original DS. I did not get two. I didn't even know two existed until later on. Okay. Because I didn't... I wasn't watching it like a hawk after I dumped all my coins and just got all my stuff. I'm like, yeah, until Damn. I got some rewards. Lucky. Like emails and stuff. So, that's me. That's how I ended up getting it. But, uh... There was some interesting ones I, I still wish I could have gotten. Mm-hmm. Um, there was some badge pin stuff that was in Japan. We're going to go ahead and talk about the stuff that was external and stuff. There was some like little badge pin sets and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think they were also in the UK too, but I think only a few of them were. But yeah. there was there was a much more broader array, like Pikmin, Legends of Zelda and stuff. I, will, I wanted to get a couple of those because I'm actually kind of a sucker to some of those. Yeah. And... They're they're tiny. They're easily far more collectible than some of the other stuff I do collect. Yeah. Um, one of my other things that I uh, missed out on in America too, double double backing again, was that Xenoblade phone accessory. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing that like kind of upsets me. And I'm gonna touch up a bit on that a little later. But that was another thing I missed out on. But that was one I was ready for, and it just sold out so quickly. Damn. But yeah, no, in Japan they had some really cool ones. They even had a uh, like 3DS themes and stuff, mm-hmm. like full 3DS, but themed with like Mario, Toad, and Princess Peach. God, so like, those make me so mad every time I see them because I really, really want those. There's so many good consoles too. Um, like the what is it, the Game Boy Advance Micro? I think that was also. I didn't see any as far as Micro went in there okay. but when I, when we did uh did some research i didn't see anything for micro but i'm pretty sure they had some plates that replaced the front of it or something to that point okay i i yeah, wouldn't yeah, put it past unless, them that they had that unless it was something else but where did that 35th anniversary mario famicom one come from do you remember um yeah, you, you know you just buy that's, it? i think that one was just a you just buy no, oh, okay. I think that was just a a very limited thing, and they had a lottery thing because that's what Japan does a lot. Mm-hmm. Is a lottery for you to get a chance to buy it and stuff. And oh, okay. I think that's what I think that's where that one came from. Oh, okay. Although I've seen some other uh, consoles too that were just exclusive to Japan that you mm-hmm. had to drop a ridiculous amount of money on just mm-hmm. to get them. I'm like Jesus Christ. <laughs> mm-hmm. You could drop it like not five not just here. not just consoles like even like controllers and stuff. The Shar Asimov cont- wave bird. Yeah, I want that so bad. <laughs> yeah. Like I think it's like awesome. That. Well, the issue is that wave birds are still really sought after today. And then there's the Shar Asimov Gundam one. I'm like, God, Jesus Christ. Like, I think uh, just looking at one now, it's, it's like a grand for like a fully boxed one. Wow. And it's like 500 bucks for a free floating one. Yeah. And here I thought I still had some kind of treasure with some random Lego set I'd never <laughs> I bought and completely forgot about years later. So hey, it's Gundam and it's a wave bird. You're like, yeah, you can't. <laughs> Yikes! That's that's insane. But yeah, no, they have quite a they have quite a bit of stuff that they I missed out. I think one of the coolest ones I saw in Japan that I think I probably would have dumped everything I had into one was one of those custom engraved Wiimotes. 
Oh, so yeah. he had one of those like silver looking plated ones that uh, I guess chrome. Chrome sounds about right. <laughs> and you had your me engraved on the back of it with your characters, like your me's name and stuff. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> I would have loved that. That would have like you you would be able to sell it on just novelty alone. Yeah. But being able to do that, right? Like mm. maybe put Guy Fury on it. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. Guy Fury's remote. I but wonder. like even on a personal level like that that has some really cool sentimental like potential value like yeah. i would never get give that away like Let's that would be anybody... one of my like praises that i would just keep prizes just keep on the wall <laughs> but i wonder if anybody knows who does the engraving because maybe we could, if we could find it we could get like I'm the, pre- the metopia stuff to engrave it <laughs> i'm pretty sure a lot oh my god the metopia that's in on switch <laughs> yeah. oh my god my anything now? yeah if any of you never didn't understand and lived underneath a rock they ported the metopia which was a 3ds game that you just used means for a random goofy rpg on the 3ds they ported it over to the switch and then they added a new feature that layers on top of it with customizations and that customization is insane have you ever wanted Gold Frieza to marry Dusa from Hades? Well, now you can, in almost in very picture perfect glory, and it's <laughs> uncomfortable. And I then that was not the worst thing I did in Metopia. Which also reminds me about uh, Breath of the Wild. The NPCs they're mm-hmm. also very advanced uh, Mies. Too. I I think they were I think they were uh, testing stuff using them, mm-hmm. but from there. They removed they removed the feature feeling feeling that it was very uh, taxing on their development time. Oh, okay. And they probably just kept some of the results that they had testing. Oh, okay. I think that's my that's my understanding anyway. Okay. But yes, um, we are wondering like we are now at my Nintendo now, right? Mm-hmm. The one that's been very bittersweet. Right. Well, they took forever to roll that damn thing out. Like. Well, not only that, it's just like all the stuff that they're trying to give you as price is just bleh. Like, eh. like free mobile stuff. Yeah. Yeah, free. It's not even free mobile stuff. It's like ten points, yeah. like platinum points. Like that's not worth it to me. Like that's stupid. You know, especially if it's a JPEG, I could probably get cooler stuff. I could make cooler stuff with Photoshop yeah. and do it. <laughs> you know, like it's not that hard. Mm. Like, I have, for some of you people who are watching and following us on some social media, such as Gavin Mines, I've made a couple, uh, quote-unquote, localized variants of uh, Switch uh, switch covers, covers, Switch video game covers. Yeah. And I've had a lot of people respond that they look legitimately authentic to a point where they were asking me where I got the localized version of the game like how did you get this i didn't think it was physical in the u.s it's not (laughs) like i still use the same upc if it's imported i use the same upcs to kind of give it away that it is not that but it is it has everything that makes it look like it was localized yeah so but well what what i want to know is is anybody even buying those like wallpapers and stuff like that (laughs) I'm pretty sure some kids are. Yeah, okay. Like, I'm not... I, I wouldn't put it past some people going, oh, this is neat and this is easy. Like, I gotta use my stuff somewhere. Yeah. Like, they're not gonna, like, think about it enough and go, oh, you know what? They probably do would have something like this. And keep on to it just in case. Yeah. Some of them are saying, oh, this is it. Whatever. Shrug and then just buy it. I mean, yeah. there is there is physical goods right now. Like, most of it's just keychains and lanyards. Yeah. Um, one of the decent ones that are still out is this, like, little acrylic plate for Skyward Sword. Mm-hmm. And that's not bad. That's not a bad thing. But I wouldn't buy it because I'm not, I'm not into acrylic prints of stuff. That's yeah. not my thing. I Isn't like it gone figures. anyways, though? Like, hmm? Stuff just flies off the shelf. So it does, but I'm saying what's available right now. Yeah. As of this recording, it is still currently available. Okay. So, that's that's that. Mm-hmm. If some people listen to this and go, um, actually, it's sold out now. No, bite me. I literally <laughs> just had it like five minutes ago on my phone. We we can we can go from there. But yes, at the time of this recording, and not of this upload, it was still available. Um. I do think a lot more solid, like, 
really like physical items, not like paper nonsense, like something solid <laughs> would really like re- be really beneficial mm-hmm. for that for that group of stuff again. Um, it could be various things such as pins. Like they're easy to do. They're yeah. small. They're mass produced. They could be warehouse for a while. Bring back cards. I wish they would do. If they do another, I if they, uh, see if, yeah. If they did, um, themed Hanafuda cards, uh-huh. like maybe three different sets. Yeah. Yeah, I buy them. Yeah. Yeah. Pikmin, Mario, uh, Samus. Yeah. But I guess it'd be not even Metroid. Either. Just Samus. Just 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 different angles of one model of Samus, and I'm pretty sure some people would buy that. <laughs> But I guess, I guess it'd probably just be easier if they just sold them. Because you just go on Amazon, there's like a shit ton of them. So. Yeah, but at that same point, there isn't that many Hanafuda cards that are, are those styles. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. If they make a Pikmin-themed, my Nintendo official thing, people would buy that. Uh, okay. They wouldn't just go, oh, I could just get any Hanafuda cards. No, they would want those Hanafuda cards. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. You know, but something like that that's very tangible like that would be really good. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I would really like would be a custom dock. Not like customized to me, but mm-hmm. like unique. Yeah. Like if it's a shape like a Pokeball and then in, instead of the green light, there's a little red light in the center of the Pokeball mm-hmm. that lights up when you set your dock on and the switches on and stuff. I would buy that shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's the case. I want to... I want, uh... Pyramithra's blade crossed and then you dock your switch on there. Yeah. Do it. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, like how like how many do you think people would want that, you know? Yeah. Like that stuff would be like those type of accessories. I like I've heard people want custom Joy Cons. Mm-hmm. I'm not as much as that because I do customize my own Joy Cons. Yes, I have broken many warranties. <laughs> um but I've customized them and they work to this day outside one of them drifting. Yeah. That's it. Is it hers just a little piece of paper, right? You just stick in there? A little piece of foam. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I could fix it. <laughs> I'm not worried. But oh. yes. I, I wish they'd bring back soundtracks. Or give Sound- us beef, give us beefy soundtracks. Because I hate how video game soundtracks... When it's we like a it sound States, sample. Yeah, and, and, or at least in the States, we get like five songs, three songs. I think, that, I think there's because there's a lot of red tape that they just... They want to push it out faster, so it's just easier to get some of the few things. I out. hate it. It's dumb. It's stupid. Dude, I would, like, because places like I Am 8-Bit mm-hmm. has full vinyls. I would buy a whole vinyl of, like, Kirby stuff. Yeah. Make a little pink vinyl, a little Kirby face on top of it. Just just put a little needle in his eye and just play all the green greens. <laughs> like, let's be real. I, that would be great. You yeah. Know? I would think, I would personally like it. Or it's missing some songs. Or it doesn't have your favorite track. Xenoblade. Or <laughs> Xenogears. Xenoblade. I guess they will not remember my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's there's a lot of room for the My Nintendo improvement. Yeah. Like way more than just normal Club Nintendo. Oh, I Pokemon think. badges. I'm supposed to have oh, good Pokemon badges. Shit. That would be that would make that would actually honestly that would be a bit pretty cool. They there's been so many fan made custom ones that yeah. I even seen at local video game shops that sell for a couple hundred. Which I mean, if it's customized and it's made by an artist and they only make a few, mm-hmm. I get it. But maybe they'll just give it to the Etsy community to take care of. But I did this, they're already doing that. But they're yeah. they're they're always look a little weirder because it is Etsy. They they do have. A budget they have to work within so you're not getting the same primo stuff but if nintendo ended up doing it, there's going to be some really glossy mwah, stuff yeah added to it to just add some like flair to it i think that would be really cool it's like maybe just try the first generation see how fast that works out and just roll out other generations after yeah. that yeah i would roll i'll do that i'd do that give me that shit yeah or even just like a uh a replica pokeball yeah why not those, I mean, granted, yeah, I think struck down all crazy too. I, so. I think, I think, I do think um, Pokemon Company would be more involved in that, though. Yeah, but true. If Nintendo had control, uh, had some kind of control, I think a little bit of that in my Nintendo rewards would be pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's where I where I, where we stand on some stuff. Uh, if you like what we're uh, saying and then you agree, you or if you have some things you wanted to say or we forgot feel free to leave a comment in the uh, comment section below comment down below don't forget Thumbs to up. 
Don't Follow forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we do have various social medias. We'll list them down b- below, with such as Rumble, Gab, and even Minds ourselves. And we would appreciate any support you guys got. And if you like our video, feel free to share it along. And thanks, for, thank you guys for watching. And we will see you on, on the, the other, other side. side. Hey everyone, this is Paraka and Ghost. I would like to say thank you for listening to our podcast. If you like our content, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and share our video with your friends. You can also follow and support us on other social media such as Minds and Rumble. Links in the description below.